It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports. I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is here. Say hello to the folks. Hey, hello to the folks. Hey, Shaquille O'Neal is here. Say hey to the folks. Hey, what up, folks? Uh, the NBA's really rolling along at this point. And Memphis is where we'll be going just moments from now, as the Grizzlies will be going up against the Miami Heat. Looking at Miami, they're not satisfied with the record over the last 10 games. Under 500 basketball, just not good enough. Looking to improve tonight. And now around the halfway point, the novelty of the new season has died down, and we're still a long way from the playoffs. Shaq, how do the players maintain focus through this stretch? How do you maintain focus? Well, Have easy. you maintained well, focus? Well, easy. You're a pro, Ernie. Do yeah. your job. That's your job. There you go. You know, and, and, and not only that, you got to be a real competitor. you got to want to compete. Yeah. Yeah, good coaching, and the veterans can help you through this because the veterans have been here before. They can kind of lead you and guide you. Do you feel focused right now? Uh, not at all. No. Do you feel focused right now? Never. Well, that makes three of us. Here's Kevin Harlan. He's always focused. Oh, say does that star spangle banner yet wave oh, the land Two teams, two conferences. It's a road game for the Heat in this one. Well, what better way to spend a Monday night than with the 2K sports team and the NBA? Welcome, everyone. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge is joining us from the sideline. You take a look at the Grizzlies. They just haven't been able to buy a break lately. Five of their last six games have been losses. Yeah, and they just look sort of lost out there lately you, you know uh, they're not playing with a whole lot of purpose or drive and you just can't wait for good things to happen you've got to make them happen and as things get ready to roll let's catch up with David Aldridge who's on the sideline David thanks Kevin Memphis head coach David Fisdale spent a long time as an assistant in Miami he coached the big three of LeBron D Wade and Chris Bosch he said they were incredible leaders and basketball geniuses so I was very lucky to be a part of that. A lot of my success I owe to that team we had in Miami. Kevin? Thank you, David. Coach Fizz is certainly an exciting young coach on the rise. And as we get into the meat of the NBA season, wear and tear starting to factor in for rotation players. Just how hard can playing 36 minutes a night, every night, every game, be in a body? Yeah, you know, it, it's a lot of wear and tear. And a lot of times you, you get a chance to see it at the end of the season in the playoffs. So, if you can keep some of these star players and all players around all right, 36, 35, 34, and then let them play a little bit longer in the playoffs, that's what you're trying to do as a coaching staff. I'm looking back here. You played almost 40 minutes a game back in the late 90s. Wow. That's why I'm sitting here right next to you right now, Kevin. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> all fueled up and ready to go. Let's check out who's on the floor, courtesy of Gatorade. On the court for the Heat. Drogic and Waiters, they're the backcourt. Johnson is out there with Josh Richardson. And it's Whiteside in at the five, roaming the paint. And the Grizzlies with possession. And this is their first time matched up with this year's Heat team. And this was as even a matchup as you'll find in the NBA. Split the season series down the middle, one apiece. Win one, lose one. This might be the case again for both teams this coming season. Now here's McLemore. D right on him. And there's the pass to come. Just five on the clock. With the floater, and it's blocked by Whiteside. Rogic against Conley. 
Outside Dragic. Right side of screen. Here's Richardson. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. They get Marcus Saul. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that, that's your only option. The Heat shooting their first free throws of the game. And taking a look at their free throw statistics on the season, uh, right around 74%. Gentlemen, two shots. Blue shot. The first one falls. And for the Grizzlies, Chandler Parsons was the biggest free agent signing in franchise history. They've got to hope his knees allow him to make a big time impact. Richardson drops them both. And the Grizzlies financially capped out from the Parsons signing. They owed their first round pick to Portland this last summer. Their 2019 pick goes to Boston. Steve, how do they surround their stars with talent now? Great question. Seven straight playoff seasons going for eight. The upside to compete for a title appears elusive. What they have to do is have this group catch fire and get them over the hump. Here's Waiters. Michael Conley making his last shot. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Conley. Yeah, tremendous hustle just to get a hand on that one. Reads the play. Quick reaction. Almost comes up with that steal. Now here's Waiters. Guarded by McLemore. Just four to shoot. Here's Whiteside. What drive by Gasol on defense, using his gigantic body to annoy shooters the best he can. Right side, Conley. Gets the front of the rim and out. And that's the look this offense is designed to produce. Always frustrating when you do everything right, yet just can't complete the play. So he gets the whistle, contact on the way up, and two shots coming up. They get Marcus Saul. And Dragic came into the NBA with something on his resume that not many other rookies have. He has a ring from winning the Slovenian Pro League the year before he came to America. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one drops. And Greg, you hear about the competitive culture that this Miami Heat franchise has. Yeah, and that doesn't always work for some teams, but it works for the Heat. This group will push each other all the time to be the best they can be. The practices have a feel of game level intensity. And the Grizzlies making a change here. Davis has checked in. Both free throws good from Dragic. Grizzlies have gone just one for five from the field to start the quarter. Conley, the pass to Evans. Davis setting the pick for Evans. An easy layup after coming off the pick. Tyreek is good at playing bigger than his size. A great finisher, close to the cup. And Waiters kicks to Whiteside. Whiteside a screen. Right side a screen on Conley. And it's Dragic off the drive. And Davis sends it back. And it's out of bounds that he able to retain possession here. We're about three minutes into this first quarter. 0 for 3 now in the early going. Just a little bit out of sync. Evans, right side, back to Conley. He dishes it to McLemore, and it's blocked by Whiteside. Here's Waiters. Shot is good off the back rim and in. And, and you know, it took them a while to get going, but they finally connected now on their fourth shot of the game. 
Bogic against Conley. McLemore with a screen for Conley. The dish to McLemore. It's Evans on the wing. Five to shoot. Davis sets a screen. And it's Evans missing. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. Count it. I like to see that. Taking it up strong in traffic. The Grizzlies trail by four. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Conley kicks to Davis. There's the pick. Pass to McLemore. Shot clock at five. Green, the screen. Off the screen. Whoa! Good. Beautiful. Woo. Beautiful. And that's a great pick. Jamichael with the quick footwork and toughness to set these. And the highlight reel replay brought to you by Under Armour. Another Unleash Chaos moment. Excellent work by the talented people in our production truck as well. Now here's Dragic. Really played well against Brooklyn in his last outing. Two points. That one goes. And you have to like the location of this pass. Gives it to him where he can do something with it. Conley kicks to Davis. Takes the 13-footer. The rebound by Johnson. You know what? Those are shots you just hate to miss when you get those kinds of bunnies on a possession. Waiters, no luck. Woo, that's the one when you watch the film back. He's going to cringe. He could ask for a better opportunity. McLemore. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. Dragic with a wide open look. Knocks down the three ball. Dragic has got five now. That's just great court recognition there. He saw the D pack in the lane on the break, so he calmly rolls up and drained the transition three. Outside Conley. Dishes it to McLemore. That's in there. Conley with the assist. McLemore's got his second bucket tonight. You can't afford to leave one of Conley's teammates wide open. He will make you pay. Johnson the screen. Waiters dishes to Dragic. Back to Waiters. From past the arc. Dragic with another miss. Last game for the Heat, they picked up the win against the Nets in Brooklyn. I mean, they were so impressive offensively. And when you do that, that can really help you on the road. It's one thing to play inspired defense in that situation. But to get in that kind of offensive rhythm away from home, phenomenal. And Waiters kicks to Johnson. Outside Dragic. Richardson against Evans. Richardson no luck. Memphis has gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Michael Green was undrafted out of Alabama, an all-star in the D-League, played abroad, now in his fourth season in the NBA. You know, Kevin, he has been one of the best value contracts in the league, making the minimum salary even as a starter on a playoff team. You know he's been looking forward to his next deal. Nobody even close to him, and he can't believe he doesn't knock it down. And here is Conley. He's coming off a 16-point game against Oklahoma City. And some of the passes he threaded through the defense were just incredible. He made it look so easy. Now here is Conley. And he misses the go-ahead basket. I can tell you right now, the coach loved everything about that shot except the result. And plenty of contact on the shot. So two free throws coming up. And Memphis called for the foul. And, and, you know, normally when you look at a guy like Whiteside with, with the field goal percentage and all, you'd think it's all about dunks. But I tell you what, he's improved his entire repertoire of scoring options near the rim. And now he's even showing that he can step out and knock down that little face-up 15-footer. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Whiteside earlier in his career didn't have as many options to score, but Greg, he's been very conscious of keeping that improvement of his game, and especially on the offensive end. And Whiteside has been self-motivated since he's come back to the NBA. He's got the great lift. Uh, he gets the hooks. He's got that baby hook up over the defenders, the soft shooting touch, and he just continues to improve 
offensively, all the while still being a force on the defensive side of the floor. Now, here's Chalmers. Nine points, last game out. Pass to Brooks. Memphis moving it around. And Chalmers kicks to Selden. Six on the shot clock. Off the pick. And it's off the back rim. No good. The Heat with the lead. Now, here's Wade. He's coming off a 10-point game against Brooklyn. Nine feet out. And Davis sends it back. Chalmers against Wade. Chalmers passes to Parsons. Here's Zeldin. Ellington defending. Zeldin kicks to Brooks. Parsons on the wing. Shoots over Olenek. The Grizzlies with another miss. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. They set the screen. Right side dishes to Wade. The feed to Olenek. That falls. Nice feed that time from Dwayne Wade. And really, the improvement as a finisher is noticeable for Kelly Olenek. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Now, here's Ellington. He's covered closely. There's the triple. Drills it from outside. And now it's a seven-point heat lead. And they can't allow him too many open looks like that. that that's just inviting trouble. Winslow against Brooks. Pass to Selden. to end the run and the layup is good Selden's got his first basket and those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half kicks it to Wade plays it up and banks it in and the Heat lead by seven and good passing setting up a lot of these buckets right now Kevin that's been the key Parsons on the wing Outside, Davis. Shoots from 12. And the shot is good. Dropping in off the front of the rim. Parsons got his first two points of the night. He's not shy around the rim. Chandler Parsons with the limp to work inside. Wade against Chalmers. Wade kicks to Olenek. For three, Ellington. And the Heat, another three. Yeah, that's too good a look to give them from behind the arc. Well, for Memphis, their last game a loss to the Oklahoma City Thunder. You know, their focus wasn't there in that one. Same with the shot selection. I've seen worse shooting nights, but this was pretty bad, and it obviously cost them the game. Now, here's Wade following the miss by Chandler Parsons. A uh, uh, team's rebounding is a great measure of its energy, and theirs has been terrific here in the first quarter. Selden kicks to Chalmers. On the wing, Brooks, covered by Winslow. Here's Selden, and the three off target. And here are the Heat. They're on a 12 to four run. Olenek, and he can't extend the lead to double digits. Can't finish, and defensively, nice job of altering the shot without fouling. And it's Justice Winslow with the foul. That's his first foul. And Miami making a change here. Adebayo's checked in. On defense, the Heat. Eight-point game. Jump ball, jump ball, jump ball. You two. So it's Miami now. 29 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Here's Wade. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. And they've been the more physical team offensively, seeking contact, looking to score in the lane, and getting to the line. 
The Heat shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That one falls for Wade. Yeah, and early on doing a really nice job at the free throw line. And both free throws good for Wade. And trailing here in the early going, too many careless fouls, and they're giving up a lot of trips to the line. Wade against Chalmers. Davis sets a screen. Chalmers passes to Parsons. But they recover it. And another miss by Memphis. And so it's Miami. With a 10-point lead, some breathing room heading into the break. Their defense has been terrific in this game. Back right after this. And forward James Johnson battled his way back into the league after some stints abroad. He talked about his approach to the game. I play the game how it's supposed to be played. I play offense, I play defense, I rebound, steals, blocks. You know, I'm pretty much that guy who likes to work hard and don't want anybody to beat him out, you know, except the challenge. That's exactly the kind of hard-nosed, old-school attitude that coaches just love it, Kevin and, and so do his teammates I mean a guy like that brings out the best in everybody on that team they just kind of feed off of his effort and desire welcome back folks we'll see if we're in store for a more tightly contested quarter as we move here into the second and when you consider how the Heat are doing, guys, what jumps out to you, stats wise? Protecting that rim early on, uh, that's been a big factor for them tonight. Well, you can erase a lot of defensive mistakes when you have shot blockers lurking in the background. On the court for Miami here in the second, Winslow and Olenek fill up the forward spots. D Wade out there with Wayne Ellington, and it's Autobio in at the center position. Now here's Winslow. Adebayo passes to Ellington. And stolen by Parsons. He kicks it to Brooks. Some nice passing there by Memphis. Selden can hit. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. Wade against Chalmers. No good from Wade and forcing the miss there. He just knows how to pressure you defensively. And also protecting the rim at all costs. I love the anticipation to affect the shot. Now, here's Chalmers. Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Miami leading by eight. And David Fisdale, eight seasons in Miami as an assistant coach, including two seasons as assistant head coach. He's been a top coaching prospect for years. Well, he's dreamed of becoming a head coach. What he does is he has an unbelievable work ethic. He's determined. Also, he has a great feel for the game, and he has a great relationship with his players and the city of Memphis. Here's Parsons after the made shot from Dwayne Wade. Selden kicks to Parsons. It's Brooks on the wing. Feeds it to Gasol. It's deflected. Ellington with it. Throws it up high. Autobio passes to Ellington. In the corner, Winslow with it. Down to five on the shot clock. And yes, it's good. 
And now it's a 12-point Miami lead. And that assist got him a little nod from his teammate after that one. So timeout called here. The first for Memphis. And Steve, free throw is not the most exciting aspect of the game, certainly, but they're a great way to put points on the board. Talk about the mentality for a score. You know, getting to the line and, and making that part of his game. Kevin, if you're a scorer, you've got to be able to knock down free throws, especially those games you're not shooting a high percentage from the field. But if you can get to the line six times, seven times on your own, and you're shooting 85 to 90 percent, that gives you five or six points. And then you have a couple of technical fouls, and you can put another two points on there. You're talking about a guy as a scorer that are nine. We call it free points. Now you need a couple threes and a couple one-on-one -on -one moves. You're at 20, and everything else after that is gravy. The Heat making a switch here. James Johnson's checked in for Olenek. Richardson comes in for Winslow. Waiters, he's checked in for Wayne Ellington. And it's Drogic in for Dwayne Wade. Here's Conley after the made shot from Goran Drogic. Conley kicks to Gasol. Releases. And again, Memphis no good. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Richardson dishes to Johnson. The pass to Autobio. Outside Drogic. Kicks it out to Richardson. And the Heat, another three. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Gasol setting the pick for McLemore. Outside for Gasol. And out of bounds as the Heat gain possession. Just a moment to look back at how things were last season for this team as we look at the shot breakdown for Memphis. And they concentrated a lot on creating open looks from beyond the arc. Player movement, finding space on the perimeter, that was their number one priority. Well, Heat leading by 17. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sidelines. Well, guys, Miami's Eric Spolstra is known for his focus and his devotion to work. How does he stay centered? Yoga. He said, I like it because you have to keep your eyes on your own mat. If you're not focused on the spot in front of you, you'll fall over. And Kevin, that mindfulness translates across the board. Mindfulness. That's an interesting way to look at things, D.A. Spo is a great, great communicator. Knows how to certainly get through to his team. Rogic kicks to Johnson. Waiters outside. And Drogic has it in the corner. Shot from 12. And it's Waiters again missing. The Grizzlies trail by 15. And taken away by Johnson. The dish to Waiters. And that's good. And it's Drogic with the assist. Drogic has got his third assist on the night. Grizzlies have gone just two of eight shooting here in the second quarter. Pass to McLemore. He feeds it to Gasol. After two misses to start the game, he's on the board with that shot made. The great hands and footwork of Mark Gasol paying dividends inside. They set the pick. Conley against Dragic. Raiders on the wing. And he makes good on the layup. Waiters got his third basket of the night. Yeah, and they're shooting really starting to pick up here in the second. Timeout called the Grizzlies. And when you take a look at that shot chart, the amount of misses lately, really unbelievable. You start to wonder, in my opinion, is it better to take everything to the rack now or to try it at least draw some fouls and a chance to check out the stats for Richardson his last 10 games averaging about 11 points three assists and three rebounds and guys he's making winning plays it's as simple as that not a star player per se but he makes his presence felt and the numbers they back it up whether he can sustain this level of production we don't know but the arrows pointing upward right now the offensive rebound here's Gasol Got a hand on it. 
He's just gone stone cold this period, and it's bringing the rest of the team down. Waiters outside. Rejected by Gasol. Love how Gasol patrols the court, always on the lookout to reject a shot. Conley against Dragic. Conley, the pass to Evans. Conley, Conley, Conley. Memphis moving that ball around. Lock at six. Here's McLemore, and the dunk by McLemore. Yeah, he just punched the ticket on that one. That'll get the job done. Powerful two-hand jam. And Marcus all last season setting a career high in scoring almost 20 points a game. You know what? He's always had that ability. But what it is, he's so unselfish. His teammates have been encouraging him for years to look for his shot. Oh, great defense there. Anticipated the play and got there first. Whiteside's checked in for Miami. Here's Conley. He isn't playing a big part of their offensive scheme, averaging around 15 and a half points a game. And it's going to be a three-second call. And while we have a chance, here are the teams that have swatted away the most shots this season. In fourth, the Heat. I mean, terrific rim protection. I mean, they rotate and help on the inside as well as anybody. And, of course, you want to keep offenses on the outside shooting jump shots, and that continues to be the goal. Whiteside sets the pick for Dragic. He dishes it to Johnson. Pass to Richardson. Whiteside inside. He's up against Gasol. And the shot goes in. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. Conley kicks to Green. Good on the shot. Green's got four this quarter. You know, Jermichael Green is extremely gifted down low. A solid post threat who can get the job done down there. Waiters outside. Kicks it out to Johnson. Just five to shoot. That three off the mark. The Grizzlies trail by 15. Here's Evans. The rebound by Johnson. He'd have gone 7 to 13 from the field since the start of the second. Here's Richardson. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. And for the Grizzlies, chemistry and continuity have been a strength, but we're seeing some roster changes, too. Yeah, we are. Vets who have helped establish this team starting to move aside. Age is a factor for this group. Also a move by the team to adapt to modern pace and space basketball. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. And there's so much more to the game than explosive athleticism. We, we see that. We're wowed by it. But, you know, Steve, there are those players who win with guile and being smart and crafty. Any, any names come to mind when you think about that aspect? Yeah, the Memphis Grizzlies, their entire team, Kevin. <laughs> when you look at Marc Gasol, <laughs> uh, Mike Conley, but some other names, Draymond Green. Uh, those guys, they won't wow you with their athleticism, but they have such a high basketball IQ. Chris Paul, uh, those guys, they just know how to play. Harrison Barnes is another. Now here's McLemore. Nine points in the game so far. Here's Gasol. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Gasol's got his second bucket tonight. It's not easy to box out Gasol. He's very good at using his link to track down second chance opportunities. Dragic dishes to Waiters. Back to Dragic. The three ball. It's in. That's his third field goal of the game. He's three for five. You see he's feeling it now. Shot looks much more in sync this quarter. Now a timeout called timeout. by Memphis. Timeout. And probably the prime memories with the Heat have to be from the Big Three era. I mean, the team has done a great job of, of transitioning from that era to this current one, but classic example for me of reloading versus rebuilding. 
And Greg, credit the Miami Heat front office and coaching staff for continuing to keep this team competitive despite losing several Hall of Fame type players in the last couple of years. And that is never an easy task for a franchise to go through. But the Heat have stayed in the competitive picture with smart signings and trades and don't discount the impact Eric Spolster has had on that roster. Catching up on the changes for Memphis. Seldon's checked in for Evans. And Fresh subbed in for Mike Conley. And Whiteside sends it back. And they're able to recover. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's on Ben McLemore. No question, he got bumped on that shot. The Heat haven't made a mistake at the line yet. 10 of 10. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw. Good white side. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. Some changes for Memphis. Parsons checked in for Gasol. And Brooks subbed in for Ben McLemore. And both free throws good from Whiteside. And the Grizzlies enjoying the longest stretch of sustained success in franchise history. Greg, seven consecutive seasons making the postseason. And this group has gotten as far as the Western Conference Finals. And a lot to be said for that consistency. But, of course, everyone's in this for the rings. Interesting to see where they go from here to turn the corner into a true contender. No good from Selden. Miami leading by 20. On the wing, Winslow. Over Brooks. And it's Winslow that time on the assist by Wade. Seven points for Justice Winslow. You know, D-Wade has always been a playmaker. Passing is a part of what makes him special. And Chalmers kicks to Parsons. Dishes it to Chalmers. There's the feed to Brooks. Six to shoot. To the paint. Here's Davis. Shot to stop the run, so he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up, and two shots coming up. And he's got his first free throw of the game. He misses the free throw. He's off on the second. And Parsons gets it to go. Parsons got his second basket of the night. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Rockets the pass to Olenek. Up and in, off to an efficient start. Two for three from the field. The, the offense is running well, but more importantly, they're taking the shots they know they can make. Hard to maintain your discipline, but obviously this was the game plan coming in, and they're carrying it out. Now here's Davis looking for his first basket still in this one. Parsons' shot is off. Their game plan needs to change if they're going to get out of this hole because he is just not there offensively. Rogic dishes to Winslow, passes it to Olenek. And it's Wade in the corner. Kicks it to Whiteside. The Heat need to get a shot off. No good from outside. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Basket counts. Well, you leave a guy that open with Parsons on the floor, and you know he's going to find him. The Heat leading by 20. 
Dragic kicks to Wade. Winslow wide open. He fires off target from three-point range. Two seconds separate in the shot clock and game clock. It's stolen by Dragic. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It goes on Chandler Parsons. Gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. That free throw, no good. And he's good on the second. Dragic against Chalmers. Davis with a screen on Dragic. Davis sets a screen. Parsons for three. And so it's Miami with a 21-point lead to end the quarter. A look at the field goal percentage numbers tells the story of what tough defense they're playing today. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much. Gordon, it looks like you guys are giving them a lot of different looks offensively. Is that the key to the lead? Yeah, you know, um, if every player on the court is dangerous for basket, that, then it's much easier for us, you know. And for defense, it's tough. Thanks, Gordon. We'll see you in the second half. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half of basketball right after this. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, everybody. Along with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal, I'm Ernie right. Johnson. Time for the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. So it's Miami who's out on top at the half. They are completely in control of the game, leading by a massive amount. Kenny, some perspective, please. I love how they open the game up. They push the ball up court at every opportunity, and they put the defense on their heels. But it wasn't just a track meet. It was a well-thought-out strategy that the coaches had way beforehand. We'll see what adjustments get made to try to stop their transition game in the second half. And Shaq, let's get your input on the Grizzlies. They were not running an efficient offense. The shot selection has to improve. It's as simple as that. Too many guys working as individuals, not as a team. They need to work as a unit, Ernie. Move the ball. That's it for halftime, as the second half is just about to get underway. Doesn't the Mississippi River look simply spectacular in the moonlight here tonight? Welcome back, everyone, to Memphis. Well, it's been a one-sided affair so far through the first two quarters, but there's plenty of time to mount a comeback. You know, Goran Dragic has been exceptional here, guys. Yeah, so far they haven't found an answer for him. A, a scoring machine here in that first half. Defensively coming in, you know he's going to be tough to stop, but I'm still waiting to see a plan to even contain him. Welcome back, everyone, to the start of the second half. Big margin on our hands, but we'll see if that gap narrows down in the third and fourth quarters. In the post, it's Green and Gasol together. Ben McLemore is out there with Conley, and it's Evans and it's small forward. And that's the group for David Fisdale as we begin the second half. High arcing shot. That one goes in. Green's got the first basket of the second half. That one for Memphis. Miami leading by 19 points. Did you know Mark Gasol had never shot more than 17 three-pointers in a season? <laughs> Last season, he fired up over 250 of them. He connected at a high rate also. 
getting the half off to a good start here already with some penetration. Those are the kind of looks you want to get coming out of the break. Get it in tight. Get those high quality chances in the paint. Gasol a screen. Evans kicks to Gasol. Six to shoot. Gasol setting the pick for Conley. Over Whiteside. Pulled the shot a little left, but the bounce goes his way. Six points for Mike Conley. And Steve Coach Fisdale told Gasol, I want you shooting at least four triples a game. So Gasol has the green light. And what impresses me, his field goal percentage stayed steady even when he took all those triples. Gasol, a great shooter from everywhere. What a luxury to have from your center position. And here is Conley after James Johnson was able to get the triple. Conley kicks to Gasol. Back to Conley. Good, and the assist goes to Gasol. Eight points for Mike Conley. He's done his job tonight scoring the basketball, but they've still been outplayed overall. Rogic kicks to Waiters. There's a screen. Right side a screen. Waiters passes to Whiteside. Terrific design on the pick play, and he lays it in. Whiteside's got 10 points in the game. Just how they drew it up coming out of the half. Three straight from the field. Gasol a screen. Conley kicks to Green. Gasol dishes to Conley. Shock up two there. Conley's got six here in this quarter. That makes it 10 of their last 12 coming from inside the paint. Waiters outside. Inside. Here's Whiteside. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Whiteside. The Grizzlies trail by 20. Now a timeout called by Memphis. Steve, you're known for your three-point shooting, but as more and more teams look to space the floor and shoot threes, we've heard some legends, uh, like Isaiah Thomas, for instance, complain that everyone's playing the same. What do you think about that? You know, me and Isaiah, we've definitely talked about it, and I look at it, yes, we have some guys that's multi-talented, but everybody can't shoot threes. If you're a good guy to be able to knock down with a high percentage, shoot the three. But if you're a mid-range guy, you can still be an all-star shooting the mid-range. Play to your strength, work on that shooting threes, but I just hate when five, six, seven guys, everybody's running to that line, and that's all we're seeing. You gotta defend, you gotta rebound, you gotta block shots, you gotta do other things, because that's still the way you can win the game, by doing all things, not just shoot threes. And really, having the best teams in history always had guys that can do different things, a ball handler, a rebounder, a, a screener, a, a long shooter. Yes. It's always a combination of all those things instead of everybody doing the same You're thing. You're so right, Kevin. And even though we've been in this three-point era, in the last two or three years, rebounding the basketball and defending still can win basketball games for you. Right around three minutes into the second half. Here's Johnson back to Waiters. Over McLemore. Tough possession there. They stayed with it, but they just couldn't make it. Shoots from 12. Good, and the assist goes to Gasol. And that's now 11 points for Ben McLemore. Crafty move. He recognizes the size disadvantage, and the mid-range is close enough. Right. No reason to take it all the way to the rack. Instead, take what the defense allows. Again, the miss by Johnson. The Grizzlies trail by 18. Feeds to McLemore. Drops it in from 11 feet. McLemore's got four points now in the quarter. Okay, nice job here in the second half. Field goal percentage is way up from what it was at halftime when it was just barely above 30%. Dragic. Here's Whiteside and the jam by Whiteside. And the presence of Whiteside in the paint, really unreal. He, he is a dominant figure down low. Great work to grab that second chance opportunity.
for Memphis. They've gotten six of their seven shots to go down in this quarter. What a fantastic start to the half. Conley kicks to Gasol. Lob pass to Gasol. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. They get it again. Kicks it out to Johnson. Good ball movement here by the Heat. And here's Richardson outside. The Grizzlies pull it in. Yeah, not a great shot there, especially when you got a lockdown defender guarding you. You know, there's no shame in passing out in that situation. Leave your ego at the door. Autobio is checked in for James Johnson. Miami on defense. 22 is their biggest lead. Green, the screen. Conley against Dragic, and it's blocked by Whiteside, and he gets it back, and it goes down two points. Six points for Mark Gasol. And 10 of their last 12 coming off assist. Conley against Dragic. There's the screen. Whiteside a screen. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Whiteside's got 14 points. Ever since halftime, he's had his eyes on the basket and just crushing it right now. And there's the pass to McLemore. He kicks to Evans. And good, and it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. Evans has got his second basket of the game. Waiters outside. The dish now to Richardson. Right side, inside. Defended by Gasol. And putting in the work on the boards, and it's paying off with chances like that. And, Gia, he does put in the work. You're mm -hmm. right. It's why he's on the finishing end of one put-back slam after another. He just never gives up on any play, any shot. He's always battling in the paint. He's one of the best at that position. Here's Conley. Following the score by Miami. Gasol passes to McLemore. The shot's good. He's got 15. One of the premier playmaking big men in the league. Mark Gasol finding the open man. Miami leading by 16. Right side of screen. Rogic kicks to Waiters. In the corner, it's Richardson. Six on the shot clock. Here's Autobio. Nice fake, but the layup off the mark. And for the Grizzlies, they're shooting about 42% so far. Scooped up. And again, Tyree Evans. Oh, easy put back. No one got a body on it. And there's one thing you're trying to minimize. It's second chance opportunities. Poor defensive rebounding for them. Now, here's Richardson. Nine points in the game so far. Here's Dragic. Grizzlies with the rebound. Green's got three rebounds now in this one. Well, just think what's happening here. He hasn't found his groove, yet they still hold the lead. Here is Conley. He's got ten. Pass to Gasol. Fires the three. It's hauled in by Richardson. Richardson's got three rebounds so far in the game. Rejected by Gasol. It's been a frustrating quarter for him shooting the basketball. He just has to make sure he's taking good shots. Well, Heat leading by 14. Waiters outside. Whiteside kicks to Richardson. He feeds it to Dragic. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Michael Conley. That is his first foul of the game. And with the new TV deals, we've seen players' salaries and caps uh, certainly skyrocketing. What does that uh, do in affecting relationships? among the players, between the players, uh, you know, within a team. You know, I, I think, Kevin, when um, guys are happy, obviously with their salaries, they play better, but I think also it can affect sometimes, let's talk about it team-wise. You have a guy that's not a playing at the level that you thought he would be playing. Because of the numbers, it's going to be harder and harder to move some of those guys. Then you have a guy that's playing better than a guy that's making a lot of money. He's going to expect, and some of these teams are not going to be able to play, so you're going to see a lot of movement. And I'm back in our day, Kevin, my day, you didn't see that much movement. Because of these skyrocketing salaries, I think now it's going to be more and more movement. And you know, Steve, with the new deal signed between players and the league, 
it'll be I think easier for teams that have drafted and developed a player now to keep that player and not lose them to more money to another team. You're totally right. I think guys getting drafted and they can play, they will definitely be there for years and years because they can make the most money with their teams respectively. Here is Ellington following the basket by Mark Gasol. Beyond the arc. A shot by Ellington, no good. The Grizzlies trail by 14. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. McLemore and Wade sends it back. Almost a block a game for his career. Wade has never been shy. Challenging shots. Winslow is screen on Chalmers. Wade drives in. No one near Whiteside as he lets it go. That falls. Nice feed that time from Dwayne Wade. Wade's got three assists now in this one. And although Dwayne Wade, very much an NBA veteran, he is still a very high usage player. He's 35 years old last season, and he was still putting up 16 shots a game. When you think about the longevity of Wade's career, it is impressive. He has adjusted his game to still be a factor on the floor as he's aged. You keep waiting for him not to be productive, but he still keeps beating father time. There's Winslow. On the wing, Winslow. Good ball movement here by Miami. Stolen by Chalmers. Pass it to Selden. Kicks it out to Parsons. Passes it to Selden. And the wide open shot from Chalmers. And he's good on the three ball. Chalmers has got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Miami leading by 11. Wade outside. He dishes it to Whiteside. Now the feed to Ellington. And he banks in the layup. Ellington's got five. It's fine to extend your defense to try and create turnovers, but, but guys have to help each other. That's been a problem for them all game. Teamwork is something you just can't turn on and off. Now here's McLemore. 15 points in the game. Chalmers dishes to McLemore. Kicks to Gasol. And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. 12 points for him. And they've really gotten on track here in the second half. After that shaky start, the field goal percentage steadily climbing. They couldn't make anything in that first break. Gasol with the steal. And it's Justice Winslow with the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. Deontay Davis has checked in for Memphis. Brooks comes in for McLemore. Olenek, he's checked in for Miami. 50 seconds left in the third. Chalmers passes to Brooks. Dishes to Parsons. Shot clock at six. Stolen by Chalmers. And there's the call by the official. They'll count the basket here following the goaltending call. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. The Heat making a switch here. Johnson's checked in. 30 seconds left in the third quarter. Now Wade. He has six. Johnson the screen. Wade against Chalmers. Tries to keep it alive. And out of bounds as Memphis gains possession. Here's Zeldin. He's got six. Feeds it to Chalmers. Davis sets a screen. They set the pick. Nobody near Parsons. Misses the shot. The third quarter comes to a close. It's the Heat. They're up by nine. And after a quick break, we're going to come right back with the start of the fourth quarter. Head coach Eric Spolstra mic'd up along the sideline. Let's check it out. Got to get to defending them, and we got to get attacks. 
attacks in the paint without turning it over. Best way to do it is to trust each other right now. And Eric Spolstra asking his guys to be both aggressive and efficient. Tall order. Yeah, and sometimes when the aggressiveness goes up, the, the efficiency goes down and vice versa. They're just going to have to walk that line and find a good balance between the two. Welcome back. Fourth quarter action starting up. 2K Sports, happy to have you with us. On the floor for Miami, starting the fourth. D-Wade out there with Wayne Ellington. Then it's Johnson. Then it's Justice Winslow. And it's Olenek in at the five. Now here's Ellington looking for Winslow. He gets it there. Clock at four. The shot by Ellington, no good. Just tentative in the paint. Lacking a little bit of confidence. Allowed the defender to recover and contest that shot. And didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope. He, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. And I, I don't mean style points. That one good for two. And the Heat lead by nine. Serve and the defense there. He makes a terrific read. And Chalmers kicks to Selden. It's Brooks on the wing. Covered by Winslow. Selden. Brooks with a screen on Winslow. It's tipped. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Fourth quarter now. We're about a minute and a half in. Here's Wade. And fouled on the shot, so the bucket counts and a chance for one more here. You know, he's built like a running back. Wade can bounce off contact. The resume that Dwayne Wade has put together over the course of his career is staggering. Three NBA titles and a finals MVP. Countless all-NBA team nods and all-star appearances. That free throw good from Wade. And with Wade's accomplishments last season, his only year other than his rookie campaign, Steve, where he wasn't an all-star. Says a lot for his staying power. From a historical context, Wade is one of the greatest shooting guards of all time. Few others at that position can say they had a greater career. Realistically, in my opinion, he's probably in the top five at that position. And he can't get the first one. Well, Greg, Justice Winslow had a year that he'd like to forget his second season in the NBA. Only played in the 18 games before sitting out the rest of the way after a torn labrum. And, and we're just happy to see the young man back out on the floor so that he can continue to develop. Always a fantastic defender. And you forget, still a very young player who can round into a contributor, I believe, on offense. The Grizzlies trail by 12. Chalmers with it. Wade picks him up. Here's Davis. Goes straight through the defender for the dunk. Draws the foul. He'll go to the line. That's on Dwayne Wade. One of the cases where height fails to tell you the whole story. Some changes for Memphis. Green comes in for Chandler Parsons. And it's Conley in for Fresh. One shot. Game moves along. Two minutes gone here in the fourth. Wade dishes to Ellington. 
Johnson the screen. There's the pick. Winslow, the pass to Wade. Olenek, a screen on Brooks. Winslow, great D that time from Green. When you miss a lay-in, it sort of sucks the energy out of your team. And stolen by Ellington. Johnson kicks to Winslow. That one falls coming off Johnson's feet. Nine points for Justice Winslow. He's been so consistent scoring the basketball. It has helped him tack on to this lead. Conley with it. Now guarded by Winslow. Wade against Brooks. Back to Conley. Lock at six. From deep. Ellington grabs the miss. A heat leading by 11. Wade outside. Good. Wade's got five points in the quarter. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Conley kicks to Selden. Brooks against Winslow. And the pass to Conley. And the foul on Dwayne Wade. That's foul number two for him. Tyreek Evans is checked in for Selden. And then for Miami, Richardson, he's checked in for Winslow. Dion Waiters comes in for Wayne Ellington. And it's Drogic in for Dwayne Wade. Conley dishes to Evans. Brooks with a screen on Waiters. Just five on the clock. Here's Evans. And that one comes up a bit short. The Heat have gotten four of their six shots to fall so far here in the fourth. A pretty nice efficiency there. Brooks with the bucket. And here's Drogic. Waiters outside. There's the pick. On the wing, Johnson. Olenek, a screen on green. Shot clock at five. Richardson the pass to Waiters. He kicks it to Olenek, and it's going to be a three-second call. And Memphis making a change here. Gasol's checked in. Now here's Conley. Outside, Green. Back to Conley. Memphis moving that ball around, and Brooks gets it to go. And this is the value of letting the play develop. You find the weakness in the defense. Johnson the screen. Waiters with the ball. Here's Richardson. Five on the clock. The dish to Olenek over Gasol. Doesn't get it to drop for him. And this is a guy that can get you stops. Aggressive on the defensive end. Also doing a good job of tracking the ball, contesting the mid-range jumper as well. Miami leading by six. Now Drogic. Johnson kicks to Drogic. That's good, and Johnson with the assist. Johnson's got three assists tonight. Boy, he reads the defense well, makes a nice adjustment. Very dependable. Memphis has gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Green, the screen. There's the call on James Johnson. That's his first foul. Ben McLemore, he's checked in for Memphis. And Miami also making a switch. Whiteside's checked in. Here's McLemore. Outside Conley. It's good, and it's his sixth make against 11 attempts. I love the adjustments he's made here in the second half, getting the looks he wants now, and shooting a much higher percentage. Waiters dishes to Dragic. There's the three. It's rebounded by Memphis. Green's got five rebounds tonight. McLemore, the pass to Conley. Good-looking screen by Gasol. Conley kicks to Gasol. 
The craftiness of Marcus All. He knows how to create that contact. And Jermichael Green, undrafted out of Alabama, played a few seasons in the D-League, Greg, but in his third season, a full-time starter in the league with Memphis. And the Grizzlies like his ability to space the floor from that power forward position. It shows you where the game is going. Face-up skills and mobility coveted at that four spot. And the first one drops. You know, the former second-round pick, Marcus saw one of the most dominant centers we have in this game. And so Marcus all nails both of them. Taking advantage at the charity strike like he always does. Terrific touch. Right side a screen. And Waiters kicks to white side. And Drogic has it in the corner. And the wing jumper offline. And here are the Grizzlies now. They're on a 14-6 run. And Green gets it to go. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Here's Drogic. Whiteside sets the pick for Dragic. Pass to Whiteside. That's in coming off an assist from Dragic. 20 points for House on Whiteside. I love how he's been more patient in this second half, shooting only the shots he feels he can make. Conley kicks to Gasol. There's the pick. That's good, and the Heat lead is cut back down to just two points. The basket there coming from Mike Conley. Not shy at all of taking it inside. Mike Conley comfortable scoring amongst the tall timber. Now here's Dragic. To the inside. Here's Whiteside. Gasol with the rebound. Gasol's got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. Here's Green. It's good. This game is all even. Green's got four this quarter. And they've had assists now on their last three baskets. Right side a screen from deep. Richardson traps in the tray. And defensively, you've got to make a greater effort working over the screens. Yeah, he could have made a better choice. He left him an easy one. Let's see how he plays the next screen. Now here's Gasol. A baseline J. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Yeah, but the hand in the face. It's critical that you contest his shots every time down the floor. Dragic, and he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. And, you know, last season, it, it seemed like it was a strong return to form for Goran Dragic. It was able to be more ball dominant when he was on the floor. And, and that style seems to work to his advantage, and he just seemed more comfortable in his role with this team. throw drive for Goran Dragic. And Greg with Dragic and a statistical resurgence for several seasons. He had been sharing playmaking duties with guys like Wade and Bledsoe. And as great as those players are, Dragic is best when he's the lead guard. Seems to be best paired with a shooter. A player's mentality can change when he is or isn't the primary ball handler. And that's been the case with Dragic. The Grizzlies trail by five. Gasol is screen on Dragic. Outside Conley. Six on the shot clock. Gasol is screen on Dragic. Conley's shot is off. Miami leading by five. Outside Dragic. He feeds it to Whiteside. Raiders for three. Grizzlies with the rebound. Coming down the stretch here, holding the lead. You like him to be more efficient offensively. Now 
Now here's McLemore. He is guarded by Waiters. Evans. Another shot. He lays it in. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. And Waiters kicks to Richardson. Out to the right wing. Right side dishes to Richardson. Here's Waiters, and then Waiters with the jam. Oh, you, you hear that sound? That's uh, the yep. flushing of the toilet oh. right there. <laughs> Greg, a fierce two-hander. The Grizzlies trail by five. McLemore with a screen for Evans. And McLemore kicks to Gasol. And he uses the glass on the layup. Gasol's got 12 points in just the second half. Gasol demands the ball when his team needs an important basket. Just remarkable initiative on his part. Rogic the pass to Waiters. And then Waiters with the jam. And he wanted everybody in the building to feel that ferocity. And we did. Yeah. And we, we felt it. Even over here, we felt it. Now a timeout called by Memphis. They're trailing by five. There's a minute 47 left in the game. And now we get the chance to present our Jordan player of the game, Hassan Whiteside. And guys, this really has been his night. Uh, he's done a lot of things well, but his scoring really put him over the top. Uh, you can see how determined he's been every time he's gotten his hands on the ball. Great drive and also great focus offensively. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Kevin, during that last break, I heard David Fisdale talking to his team who does not like the high foul number in this game. He told them, you've got to stop biting on the shot fake. Stop gambling for steals. That's giving them easy points at the line. We'll see how they respond. Now, here's Dragic after the Marcus Olmos. And here's Dragic. It's not going to go for him. Pass to Evans over Richardson, and it's Evans missing. The Heat leading by five. Johnson the screen. 109 left to play here in the fourth, and Waiters kicks to Richardson. Rogic dishes to Johnson. Right side a screen, and it goes out of bounds. That went off Drogic. Memphis has gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Kindly the pass to Evans. Gasol against Whiteside. Little turnaround. Again, the miss by Gasol. And they are in the driver's seat. Yes, they are. If they come away with points on this trip, Katie bar the door. There's 39 seconds left to play in the final quarter. And so they foul intentionally. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. And he ends up making the second, and that increases their lead to six. And not as productive a trip as you would like, but they're still in a pretty comfortable position. Evans, a screen on Richardson. From deep, McLemore. Miami grabs the miss. 22 is their biggest lead, and so they choose to intentionally foul. Shoot. 
So the first one drops, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And the second free throw, no good. A tough break there. And the point differential, j just too difficult to overcome. This is where it's things. You just want to keep competing. But deep down, you know it's just not your night. Here's Dragic. And so it's Miami winning this one. They seem to relish their role as the bad guy here tonight. You know, Kevin, I sense that as well. I mean, they really did feed off all of that negative energy this crowd was directing at them. I mean, they turned it around and used it as motivation to close out a significant win. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Well, Dwayne, you won the game, but you lost the rebounding battle. How did you overcome that? Um, I don't know. You know, we have a knack for finding a way to win, and um, we've always had that here. You know, we got to do a better job. Um, you know, we can't get out rebounding like that and expect to win, so uh, we got to figure it out. Sure you'll be working on it. Thanks, Dwayne. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. And that about wraps it up. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long and good night, everyone.